Hey, with it, YouTube, it is Showtime, and I am back with another video. Now, this is definitely one of the better, like, videos that I'll be putting out. This is the ultimate tutorial on how to become an elite comp big man in NBA 2K21. Now, as I'm playing this game, I'm realizing that the community, the 2K community is actually getting better. Every year, I realize that our centers are getting better. Our guards are getting better as a community. We are getting better. So let's just, you know, get a little round of applause for all our 2K community members who are getting better throughout the years. Um, I feel like the game is improving. I feel like the game is at a good state right now. There's a few fixes. A lot of people are making a lot of whites. There's a lot of patches and things that we do need to fix. But this game is in a really good place right now. Everyone's getting a lot better at the game. Everyone's having a lot of fun. And like everybody is still figuring out and working out the kinks of the game and how the game's working. But it's somewhat fun because if everybody's just good at the game, you know, it's not really fun. We're all just trying to figure out what to do and everyone's making new builds and new jump shots. I think the game's in a really good place right now, but let's, let's just get to the video. So, once again, this is a video on how to become the best center possible. Whether you're playing twos, threes, you need to be able to do these three things to be a good big man in NBA 2K21. Now the three things that you guys need to be able to do is number one, rebound. You have to know how to rebound. If you cannot rebound as a center, you are screwed. You have to be able to box out, get rebounds, hustle for rebounds, dive out of bounds for rebounds, run for rebounds. It is important to get rebounds for your team. Whether you're on threes, on threes, you know, it's a lot It's a lot more pop. You know, you, you just have to be able to get rebounds, dish it out back to your guards, or even go back up with it for, you know, a little dunk. For twos, you know, you, twos, it's a necessity. Like, you cannot be getting horsed on the twos. You know how possessions are. Every possession counts when you're playing twos. There are no messing up. And you see the way these ISO people be. It's not good to give the ball, especially when you're playing twos. And to be able to get rebounds for your guard is just, um, like, you'll, you won't lose your chances of losing would significantly decrease when you're getting all the rebounds and being a horse, a snagger like myself for your guard. Now, number two, you're going to have to know how to hedge. Now, this is something that a lot of centers do not know how to do. Like a lot of centers, what they'll do is they'll just let their guard get absolutely destroyed by screens. And I mean, there could be the guard that's dribbling and the guard playing defense and the center will sit paint, watch their guard get destroyed by good screens, right? And we'll just, the card will just combo up, combo up off the screen, boom, peek -a boo boom, fade. And the center, centers, you guys have to play higher on defense. You have to help your guard when he is getting destroyed. All these big men out here have Brick Wall Hall of Fame. If you are a center without Brick Wall Hall of Fame, you suck. Every center has Brick Wall Hall of Fame, my nigga. You, you cannot watch your guards get destroyed by screens. You have to hedge. You have to fake. You have to help. Sometimes you got to make that full switch. But once you are hedging, you'll be able to help your guard that much more when he's getting completely fucked over by screens. I am telling you guys, please do not watch your guards get fucked by screens. Please. It is so... It's just... It's vital. You, you've got to help your guards. You've got to help them. Now, number three, the last thing you guys have to know how to do as big man is set a good screen. It is, it is just, you have to. This is probably the most important thing. You, you just have to know how to set a screen. You have to know how to get your guard open. Without a good screen, your guard cannot get open and score the basketball. If you are not an ISO player... There's no need for you to be able to set screens. But if you're a center playing with a guard that cannot ISO or just does not ISO, a playmaking shot creator, you have to set a good screen. You have to get your guards out open. Therefore, they can shoot greens. It's a screen for green so that they can score and win you the game. That's You just have to be able to set a good screen. Now, what I will be doing in the future is making a video on how to be able to set good screens. But as far as it is... As far as it is for screens, you just hold on to circle, 
There's a way to position your screens to get the best screens. There's a high screen, a low screen. Usually you would set a high screen. If you do see that the defender on your guard is playing high, you must set a high screen for them to hit the screen. Therefore, when you hit the screen or when the guard hit the screens, you have options. You have an option to roll to the basket, get a dunk, or you have the option of letting your guard shoot and then you and then they score the basketball or you, you have to get the rebound for them. But there's options and opportunities given when you are able to set good screens for your guard. You have to be able to set screens for your guard in order to score in order for them to score and in order for you to win the game. It's just that simple for you big men. But that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, go like the video. If you think this video can help your big man or another big man on getting better and becoming that ultimate elite comp big man center, send it to them. Share the video. If you want to see more of my videos and more of my content, you guys want more tips, tricks, advice, glitches, all you got to do is subscribe and hit the notification button so every time I post you get an alert. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, watching. We still are on the grind to 100 subs. I know I got a little channel, but we still work hard to get to my goal of 100 subscribers. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.